Silverstone, scene of the first ever World Championship Formula One Grand Prix. 1950, won by Giuseppe Farina. 100,000 spectators. King George was present. Who would ever forget that? It was actually in action before that race. It is an airfield circuit. It saw service during World War II. Today, it is subject to all the variables that come with airfields. Very open, very flat, even though the elevation here looks to be reasonable around the Beckett's area. When you're there at Silverstone, all seems very low to the ground, as you would expect. A lot of changes to the track over the years, not the least of which is the building of the new wing, which is just by the Turn 1 complex there. Not my favorite part of the circuit. Indeed, if you do go to Silverstone, try to go to the old pits right up at the top of the circuit where the F2 and GP3 paddocks are. Great atmosphere there. Not too many spectators, oddly, seem to find their way there. Anyway, going through the corners now, Turn 1 is a quick corner a right-hander that's almost flat, probably flat in qualifying. Going to be a very spectacular corner for the Formula One cars this year, 2018. One is impressive, there's a kink after that, and then hard braking for three and four. The back straight, this is a DRS zone. Down towards the complex, turn six, seven. Turn seven is an area where you will see Sebastian Vettel doing his patented straight line V cornering. Shows up a lot here. Lewis even mentioned it when I was doing a lap with him last year in a Mercedes, high-powered Mercedes road car. He said, ah, this is where Seb does this. And indeed, he does break in a straight line, goes to a slow mid-corner rotation point, which is the apex of the V, and then a straight line exit. Most of the other drivers, and particularly Lewis and Max Verstappen, will be turning in relatively early on the brakes, getting the nose to work, given by the amount of brake pedal release there, giving the brake pedal pressure, and of course, trying to tease the throttle on as soon as possible. Turn eight is a flat out kink, but then we approach turn nine, or to you and I, Cops Corner. One of the great corners in Formula One, very, very fast. The radius has been changed over the years, but still, if you stand on the outside of Cops, in the spectator area, dead in line with the turn in point, you will see big differences between one driver and another, particularly even within the same team, between Daniel and Max Verstappen, between Lewis and Valtteri, and most noticeably, you'll see Fernando Alonso with his flick as he goes into the corner, and you'll see Lewis Hamilton just beautifully, seamlessly getting his Mercedes into Cops. Great place to watch. Accelerating out of there, flat out, another flat out kink, Maggot's Curve, they might like to call it Turn 10 these days, and then into the Beckett's Complex. There isn't really a Formula One driver, or F2, or GP3 driver who won't say this is one of the great parts of any circuit in the world. Very fast entry. You go down a gear in the middle of the Beckett's complex, but you've got to be thinking of the exit almost as you turn in, as Carlos Reutemann used to say so memorably. Another DRS zone going into Stoke Corner, turn 15, and that, of course, is where Nigel Mansell passed Nelson Piquet in 1987 to go on to win the British Grand Prix that year. It was a double dummy. Nigel described it in the long interview we did with him recently. You can see that online, on demand. Don't miss it. it goes into it in a lot of detail. One of the great passes in the history of Formula One. And the crowd at Silverstone really is what this race is all about. Look at what Lewis Hamilton has received when he's won races in the recent past. Nigel Mansell before that. And John Watson, who we have in this show, experienced it for the first time in 1981 when he won. David Coulthard, another British favorite. Lots of atmosphere always at Silverstone. The British crowd really embraced their Formula One and their Formula Two and their GP3. And if you're at Silverstone this weekend on Thursday night, don't miss us at the Whittlebury Hall Pavilion, the F1 Racing Fan Village, doing a live Q&A with some special guests and some prizes. Don't miss it.